Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to learn one important method of integration by parts uh, using Bernoulli's formula, right? So let us start. Suppose uh, u and v are two functions of x, right? So u and v are two functions of x and suppose we have to integrate uh, u dv then according to Bernoulli's formula the integration of u dv uh, is equal to uh, uv minus u prime v1 plus u double prime v2 minus u triple prime v3 plus u fourth prime v4 minus so on right so this is the formula uh, for integration by parts uh, which was given by uh, Bernoulli right so let us see uh, how to uh, write uh, this uh, formula uh, without uh, memorizing it right so what we will do uh, we'll write u dv right so u is the function of x v is also a function of x right now in order to uh, reproduce this formula what we will do first we will write the product of u and v that is uv right okay then here we have u prime so u prime is the derivative of u with respect to x so what we will uh, do here we'll write u prime and v1 is the integration of uh, this function v right so here we'll write v1 okay now the next step is in the third step what we will do uh, we'll write u double prime right it means uh, we'll again differentiate u prime with respect to x and then uh, here we'll write uh, here we had uh, v1 now here we'll have v2 okay now in the fourth term what we will write here we have first derivative here we have second derivative then we'll have the third derivative right and here we have v1 here we have v2 now we have v3 right okay now in the next step what we will do we'll write the fourth derivative of u right and here we'll have four so we have one two three four five six seven so on and here we have the first derivative of u then second then third then fourth then fifth then sixth and so on right now let us see uh, what about the sign so first uh, we'll see here we have a positive sign right so uh, first we will have the positive sign then we will have the uh, negative sign and in an alternate manner I uh, will uh, write the signs so here we have plus then we have minus again we'll have plus then we'll have minus and again we'll have plus here we'll have minus and so on right so this is how we generate the Bernoulli's formula for integration by parts so here u is a function of x v is a function of x the first term this is the first term right so the first term is the product of these two functions u and v then we have the first derivative of u and multiplied by the integration of uh, this function v right then we'll have the second derivative of u and multiplied by the uh, second integration or the successive integration of uh, v1 right and so on so here uh, u prime u double prime u triple prime and so on are the successive uh, derivatives of u and v1 v2 
v3 and so on are the uh, successive integrals of v right so uh, this is how we write this uh, uh, bernoulli's formula for integration by parts and uh, this uh, formula is used to calculate or to evaluate uh, the integrals of the type say x raised to m sine n x dx or integral of this type x raised to m cos n x dx or integral of this type x raised to m e raised to n x dx right so viewers uh, uh, let us take uh, one example uh, how to uh, utilize this formula to integrate uh, a function of uh, these types now viewers uh, let us take uh, this example right so here uh, we have to integrate x square times e raised to 3x dx so here uh, we see that uh, we have the uh, product of two functions so we can take x square as u and e raised to 3x times dx can be taken as dv right so uh, comparing this integral with this one right okay so here we have u that is x square and uh, here we have uh, dv is equal to e raised to 3x uh, dx right okay now uh, we have to find uh, the first derivative of u so u prime is simply 2x right because the derivative of x square is 2x now we'll find the second derivative so the derivative of 2x is simply 2 now uh, we'll stop here because uh, the third derivative of u is 0 right so we'll stop at this step when we get a constant term because the derivative of constant is 0 so we are uh, not going to write uh, this term that is the third derivative of u okay now let us take uh, this term that is dv is equal to e raised to 3x dx now uh, to get the value of v uh, we have to integrate both sides so we'll integrate both sides so we have integral of e raised to 3x dx now v is 1 over 3 e raised to 3x right so the value of uh, v uh, comes out to be 1 over 3 e raised to 3x so now we have u and we have v now we have to calculate v1 now v1 is the integral of v right so we have to write a v dx so v1 is the integration of v uh, with respect to x so v and u are functions of x so here uh, v is 1 over 3 e raised to 3x dx now this can be written as 1 over 3 integral of 3x dx so now we have 1 over 3 integral of e is to 3x is 1 over 3 e raised to 3x so we have 1 over 9 e raised to 3x right okay now uh, in the next step we'll find v2 so v2 is uh, equal to integral of v1 right with respect to x so now integral of v1 v1 is 1 over 9 e raised to 3x dx now this is 1 over 9 taking 1 over 9 outside the integral we have integral of 3x dx so now we have 1 over 9 times 1 over 3 e raised to 3x and that is equal to 1 over 27 
e raised to 3x right so now viewers uh, there is uh, no need to calculate v3 right so we will not calculate uh, uh, v3 because uh, v3 is multiplied with uh, the third derivative of u and the third derivative of uh, u is 0 right so we will restrict ourselves with this term only so we have 1 2 and 3 right so we will have only three terms so now uh, the integral i can be written as uh, uv uv minus u prime multiplied by v1 plus u uh, the derivative of uh, uh, second derivative of u multiplied by v2 right so now uh, we will substitute the values of u and uh, v and u prime v1 and u double prime v2 so uv is equal to uh, x square times 1 over 3 e raised to 3x right then we have minus uh, the second uh, the first derivative of u is uh, 2x here multiplied by v1 and v1 is uh, 1 over 9 times e raised to 3x and then we have plus here and second derivative of u is 2 2 times of v2 so v2 is 1 over 27 e raised to 3x and here we have the constant of integration right so now i can be written as uh, here we can write 1 over 3 x square times e raised to 3x minus uh, 2 over 9 x e raised to 3x plus uh, 2 over 27 e raised to 3x plus c right so viewers uh, this is uh, the integral of uh, x square times e raised to 3x with respect to x using uh, Bernoulli's uh, formula for integration by parts now viewers uh, let us take one more example so here uh, we have uh, the integral x raised to 4 sin x dx right now if we compare this integral with this one uh, then we then we see that uh, u is x raised to 4 and dv is sin x dx right okay now let us uh, find out the uh, successive derivatives of u so the first derivative of u is 4x cube because the derivative of x raised to 4 is calculated by this rule. So we have nx and minus 1, right? And the second derivative is 12x square and the third derivative is 24x and the fourth one is 20. 4 right so the first four uh, derivatives of u are given by this and we see that 24 is a constant right and uh, if we uh, find the derivative of 24 then the fifth derivative is 0 right so we'll uh, restrict ourselves to uh, the fourth derivative of u only right okay now uh, let us uh, uh, see uh, dv equal to sin x dx now v is uh, the integral of uh, dv that is uh, sin x dx right so the uh, the integration of sin x is minus cos x right so the value of v uh, which is the function of x is minus cos x now we have to find v1 now v1 is the integral of uh, v right so we have integral of v with respect to x so here we have minus cos x dx and integral of cos x is sin x right now we'll find v2 v2 is the integral of v1 
and we have minus uh, sin x dx right and the integral of uh, uh, sin x is uh, minus cos x so here we have minus cos x so this is cos x right so minus and minus multiplied together becomes plus so we have a uh, cos x right now we'll find uh, v3 right so v3 is the integral of v2 and uh, v2 is uh, cos x and uh, the integral of uh, cos x is simply sin x right now we'll find v4 right and the value of v4 is the integral of v3 and v3 is sin x so we have integral of sin x and integral of sin x is minus cos x right okay so now uh, here we have calculated uh, v v1 v2 v3 and v4 now uh, we are not going to calculate v5 uh, because uh, here we have the term uh, u uh, the derivative of fifth derivative of uh, u multiplied with v5 right so uh, the fifth derivative of uh, u is 0 hence uh, we will not calculate v5 because the product will become 0 so we will restrict ourselves to this term only right so reverse uh, now the integral x raised to 4 sin x dx can be written as uh, uv minus u prime uh, v1 plus u double prime v2 minus u triple prime v3 plus u fourth prime v4 right because uh, the fifth derivative of u is 0 hence uh, we'll have only these uh, five terms right now let us substitute the uh, values here so uh, now i can be uh, written as uh, uv so u is uh, x raised to 4 and v is uh, minus cos x then we have minus u prime u prime is 4x cube and v1 is minus sin x right okay then we have plus u double prime is 12x square and multiplied with v2 right and v2 is cos of x right then we have minus and u uh, the third derivative of uh, u is uh, 24x times v3 v3 is sin x and then we have plus uh, u the fourth derivative of u that is uh, 24 times v4 and v4 is minus uh, cos x and plus c right c is the constant of integration so now we can uh, simplify it so i is equal to minus x raised to 4 uh, cos x then this minus and minus becomes plus so we have plus 4 x cube sin x then we have plus 12 x square cos x then we have minus 24 x sin x and uh, this plus and this minus it becomes minus 24 uh, cos x plus c right so this is the integral of uh, uh, this function x raised to 4 sin x uh, dx right so viewers uh, this is how uh, we see that uh, how useful is uh, Bernoulli's uh, uh, formula for integrating uh, such functions.